I'm Shane White, and this is The Process. Hey gang, Shane Patrick White here with another edition of The Process. On today's vlog, I'm going to talk about what I've been up to. Uh, my wife and I just got back from a little over a week long trip down to SoCal. We started off going to San Diego because she had a conference to go to, and I thought I'd tag along and get some painting in. So I um, ended up painting at Balboa Park, La Jolla, and then we even uh, took some time off, added some time, and then went up to Laguna Beach and Topanga Canyon. So we had a great painting trip and a great uh, relaxing time uh, of hiking and, and eating and uh, seeing some old friends. So that's what I've been up to. Oh, here's a cool thing. So I got this book, um, The Art of Robert McGinnis. I was at Gallery Nucleus in Alhambra and they had a bunch of books there and I'd seen this come out a little while ago but I, I didn't pick it up because I already had the book, uh, the tapestry book which covered a lot of his work. But this one was cool because if you're like me and you like process shots, there's a lot of um, photos in here of some of the models he's used. Let's see if I can find one. Well, anyways, here's a nice double page spread. But he's got like preliminary sketches, photographs of, like I said, models. Um, just can't seem to find any right now. And some of his historicals. There's a lot of historical stuff for National Geographic. Oh, here, here's a little process shot. Uh, I don't know if you can see it because it's fairly light pencil, but it's always nice to see the way artists work through things. It gives you a chance to uh, understand their thinking uh, methodology and how much effort they put into preparation. So definitely uh, check this book out if you like Robert McGinnis. Ah, so, good piece of advice, also in the line with travel painting, test your kit. So if you have a kit like I do, I've got a tripod with a, a easel attachment, and I usually paint with gouache, but I have a watercolor backup in case something goes wrong. Take it out for a spin, you know, in your neighborhood, backyard, whatever. Try it out, see what you're missing. You might be missing a water bottle or a spray bottle or some brushes or some things that you really, really need when you're out in the field. And so when you get out there, you're not surprised, like I was when I was in Utah at Zion National Park. I had brought gouache, I was ready to paint, I was so eager, all that red rock, it's gorgeous, and I forgot my spray bottle. And if you know anything about Utah or, or that area, it, things dry out really fast. So I managed to maybe get one half of the gouache painting done before everything dried up and closed my box up and went back to my hotel to sulk. So anyways, that's it for this week. Uh, leave a comment below, subscribe, tell a friend, and as always, thanks for watching.